morning, good morning. What's going on? David Baxter with Curbside Appeal, putting waste in its place. Hey, how are you guys doing this morning? Um, it's uh, about what time? Almost 9 a.m. this Wednesday morning. Um, as of right now, I have two jobs uh, scheduled. So the first job, not positive it's, if it's going to be an actual job or if it's just going to be a walkthrough as planned. Um, so what happened was there was a um, storage unit or storage company that called me several weeks ago. Um, we had planned on doing the job. I had walk did a walkthrough already. They had like five storage units I was going to do. And we had scheduled to do it last week, but we had a pretty, oops, had a bad storm. So that got delayed and um, shut down and and just hadn't been able to reconnect with them. So I went back to them last week or a few days ago and they said they added on to the job. So I'm going in today to assess the whole job now in addition to those five units. I think she said about five more. So it looks like double the work because the, the way she was explaining about those additional um, units, she said it was far worse than what I had already seen. So. We'll take a look at that now, and um, if they give us the, the go-ahead, we'll knock that out today. If not, um, I have an apartment that um, I got set up to do. Um, it's a, a repeat customer, and um, I think I've mentioned it before. What they have is they have a, a storage area, or a fenced-off area, basically, for their residents to drop off bulk items, like large furniture, things like that. Um, it's overflowed. Um, so this is the worst I've seen that location. So again, we got two big jobs, so I'm gonna try to keep it just to those jobs today. I don't wanna overwork myself today. So we'll knock out this storage. If they let us give, go, go ahead. If not, then we'll move on over to the apartments and get that cleared out right away. Um, but that's what we got planned for right now. So jump in, let's ride. Mm -hmm. 